Hey, good evening, YouTube. Hey, I thought I'd make a quick video uh, for, the, for this little heater that I scored. Um, and uh, it's a it's a Brunson sports heater. And I found next to nothing uh, of information on this. And it, it's if you get one, uh, they're a little stubborn to take apart. And I thought I'd just go over and show you the, the core pieces first thing that you want to do is this thing is a stackable deal here. You've got this, you've got this uh, heat uh, flare here that goes on the top that holds the bale. There's three screws. You'll see that. You want to take those three screws out and you want to get this. Now I had to heat this up with a little torch because there was uh, lead dropped on each screw head uh, so they won't back out. So that's probably from the factory. Uh, but anyway, if you remove this, uh, and then uh, there's two screws that come in on the bottom that will remove this bottom plate. And so grab those two off of there. Of course, you've got this flame and your cook surface up here that goes on the top and then on the very top you have this cap. So the cap comes off, pull this uh, cook uh, uh, chimney off and then you take the bale off and then the bottom. So it's like a, like a wedding cake and I'll tell you What's going to happen is, is this metal grid right here, you're going to think that that's just the part that holds the, the wick. There is a wick in here, and I'll show you a, a picture here, and uh, you'll see what this looks like taken apart. Okay, so um, what you want to do on the very, very tip of this, this is the this is the lever that's going to raise and lower the wick. See that? This stays exposed, and you'll see the wick is just down here, just ever so slightly, and then it puts it out, right? So there's there's the wick up, and there's the wick down. Now on the very, very tip of this, there's a cotter pin. It's tiny. Right now, I've got a little piece of wire in there to keep that in place. You remove that, and then down here on the bottom, you'll see a little hook. You want to spread that hook open and get that pin out, and free that pin. Pull that out, and then and then get ready to uh, get creative. Um, you can soak this upside down in some kerosene because these have probably sat dry for many many years, and this is seized in here. Okay. Um, what I did is I, I put a uh, liquid wrench in there and I just got a rag over this and I just found a comfortable place I just started rocking it, rocking it, rocking it, rocking it. It took about a half hour and finally I got it to, to break free and pull out and you saw what it looks like and that's cleaned up. I should have took a picture of it, how nasty it was. Um, but it'll come out all rusty, get it all cleaned up on your wire wheel or however you want to do that and then put the wick back on it, on, put the wick back on this, this uh, cylindrical piece and slide it back in. And uh, I was able to do that. And now I've got the working unit. Let me put it back together and uh, let's fire it up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is this is really flimsy right here. You'll probably collapse that a little bit. You got a hole on both ends here. We're gonna line these up, and you want to take have this lever. There's a hole here on the side. You want to go through your hole and then set your base on like so, and square it off. I've got an awl here.
Okay, there's the two screws. One there, one there, and you got your lever poking out. Let's test it. Still got good action. Okay, off, and then the lighting position. There we go, it's still working. Now, uh, I'm gonna put this cage back in, but I'm gonna clean up the inside here real quick. All right, I took some alcohol, cleaned that up super good in there with some stainless, and then I just gave it a shot of some VHT. Now I'm gonna put this uh, bale on here. Line those three holes. Line the three holes up. Uh, put these screws in. And the last one. Okay. And then uh, put our top on. Just sits up there. together isn't it now let me uh, put the kerosene back in now I soaked my wick while I was working on it if you get one of these that's uh, that the levers working you might want to let it soak in its uh, in its kerosene overnight to let it wick up it's the first time that you put uh, fuel in it in a while Thirsty little booger. Simple as that. Let's fire it up. Get it going a little bit. And let's let the lever. And that'll do it. All right, well thanks for coming by and checking out the quick video I'm gonna and uh, there she be if you got any questions on this little beauty uh, 
hit me up. I'd love to see somebody restore one of these uh, back to its glory. This is a pretty nice one. This was a pretty nice specimen, pretty clean. And I'll tell you, it's, it's putting out some, oh, you know what? Hang on a second, time out. The chimney. Let me get this turned up a little bit. This chimney's gotta go in here. Huge, huge. There we go. And we got our cooktop. Then the top. Well, there we go. Go. So now we've got our Brunson Sports Heater. What's it say? Sports Heater Company, Denver, Colorado. All right. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you this weekend. Till next time.